from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's Like is 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. If you're calling from outside the United States, call this number. It's country code 1, area code 323, and the number 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. Let's go to your calls here on Like Is 101. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lindsay on the Tom Like Is Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? I'm sorry. I was saying hello. I wasn't sure if I had good reception here. I have a question, Mr. Like, uh, I'm a fairly new listener, my first time calling. Yeah. And my question was, what if you're like the complete opposite of all the girls that you're describing that you want to get away from? And what what you, what, wait, 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 what does that mean? Like, you don't want to get married, you don't want to be controlling, you want to have someone, but like, you don't want their money, you just want to have fun with them. However, I don't want that person to sleep with other people, so I don't get diseases. That's my only concern. Well, again, uh, uh, I say that our men want freedom to have sex with whoever they want to have sex with. Uh, our men use condoms. It's not always 100% safe. Well, and that, what if you have oral sex? I mean, there's only so much that can again, then, uh, again, then maybe you shouldn't be with a one-on-one -on -one student. But then again, what if you just want that one person and then you can be a... Then you're not a one-on-one -on -one student. We, we, this is not a class about monogamy. Guys like variety. No, I understand. We I'm like new good. meat. All right, tell him I got to go back to class. Bye. Bye. What if you're a one-on-one -on -one student, but you just want to be with one person? She doesn't understand. This is not a monogamy course. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Marissa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. Um, listen, I actually started listening to you uh, through my sister um, and one of my friends. And I've been listening and I've been hearing how you say that um, women should be treated like crap. If you so want to get, yes, if you want to get laid, treat them like crap. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know I go the same way for men? Because when I treat men nice, they treat me like crap. But when I treat them like crap, they treat me nice. And that's exactly what you say for men to do to women. I do to men, and you get the same results. I'm sure that's true. So, I mean, uh, I talk to men who are married to bitches all the time. And I say, why'd you marry a bitch? And the reality is, for some reason, we uh, we think we deserve to be treated like crap. Exactly. So the way to get what you want is to treat people like crap. Exactly. And that's the only, re that's the only way that it works. And it, it goes for both ways, not just for men to treat women like crap. Well, it's war. Whoever treats the other person like crap more wins and will get what they want at the expense of the other. True. True. And also, um, one of my best friends, she's a single mom, and uh, I heard you say not to date. Not to date single, single mothers, moms, yes. Because they want to have kids? They, well, because they've <laughs> already made one mistake that some guy is paying for, and we know what they would do if they got knocked up again. Actually, you know what? She, the guy, the man, or the boy, he's not being responsible for, so nobody's paying, but she is. And I know that she doesn't want to have any more kids. Well, she, she says that, but what if she got knocked up by accident? 
Well, anybody who get knocked out by accident. No, no, but the point is, we already know what a single mother is likely to do. Yeah, but I mean, I know she's taking care of herself, and she's using, like, different methods to take care of herself. Sometimes the methods don't work. I guess. But I just wanted to give you a call and let you say that, yeah, whatever you say, you know, it's true, but it goes for both ways. A man, like, getting treated like crap off. That may be, I, you know, I don't date men, so I can't say that for sure, but if you say so, <laughs> then for the time yes. being, I believe you. Okay, well, thank you so much. So you're treating men like crap, are you? Well, when they need to, yes, I will. Oh, when and they, they need treat, to. And they treat me uh, like crap. I treat women. Like anytime I want to get laid, I treat women like crap. If I think there's going to be any <laughs> resistance, the best way to get a woman's attention is to pay no attention to her. Exactly. Exactly. Same. Oh, my God. Men are the same way. Exactly the well, same way. There you go. Yes. If and I also, dated a man, women, I would know. And also, women like to, you know, try different meat off. They don't like to stick. Not all women like to stick to one meat. So we like to taste different kinds of meats. Oh, so you're into tasting different kinds of meat? Yes, not just one. Little dark meat, little light meat. White meat, dark meat. All is good. All kinds of meat. Yes. So, but you're a great person. Thank you so much, Tom. And with most of the most of the stuff that you say, I do agree. I'm not going to say I agree with you 100% on everything, but most of it, yes, I do. Well, keep it up, Marissa. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Eddie on the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101. Hello. Hello, Tom. Thanks for having me on the show. Sure thing, Eddie. Tom, I, wanna, uh, I got a couple of questions. One is um, regarding the 40 bucks tops. Uh, any suggestions? Because the thing is that m most of us who are new to the Like Us 101, you know, we've, we've been inbred with tradition and culture, the parents and the whole, you know, where you got to treat the woman and you got to take her out, spend money on her. And I think we've been sort of brainwashed to some degree, and I guess we have to unlearn it. But do you have any suggestions, ideas, pointers that you want to give out? Yeah, don't them. have dinner with them. Tell them uh, what I always recommend, which is you call her Jake on the phone. You say, what time are you having dinner tonight? <laughs> and she will tell you, oh, I don't know, seven thirty, eight o'clock. You say, great. So you should be done about 9, 9.30. Why don't I pick you up? We'll have a drink. Ah, beautiful. And she has no idea. You've just slid right out of the obligation. <laughs> Love it. Tom, I've got another question, and, and I know I know you got a guy screening the calls and everything, but if this is like it's 101 and it's about getting late, why are people calling on subjects that are irrelevant? Because there are a lot of women who don't know the difference between getting laid and having a relationship. Yeah. And part of the education process for women to understand that there's one course for teaching people how to have a relationship and another to teach them how to get laid. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. And, and anybody who's been married, as I always say, anybody who's been married knows the difference between being married and getting laid. Speaking of that, Tom, um, I had a friend of mine a while back. We were listening to your show. And he had this question. He wasn't able to get on uh, on the call with you. If if you are going to make an idiotic decision, such as get go ahead and get married to some chick, how do you bring up the subject almost where it's almost like at the end of the the, the, the point where they're now going to get married? How do you bring up the whole um, uh, prenup? How, any suggestions on well, that? Well, first of all, you, you should make her ask you to marry her. Uh. You don't ask anyone to marry you. Ever. So if she insists on you marrying her and you insist on going through with it, you tell her you would never get married without a prenuptial agreement. Which will do one of two things. She'll either sign a prenuptial agreement... Or she'll tell you that she would never sign one of those things. How dare you? And then you got your answer. Right. Okay. You don't want a hostage. You don't want to force someone to sign one who doesn't want to sign it. Right. Right. Of course. Now, Tom, I've I got something else. Um, for example, 
a lot of callers are calling in, and I, I don't know, maybe I'm, I may be the one misunderstanding you, but a lot of them misunderstand treating a woman like crap as in treating her like some like some grotesque dog that you don't like. I think my experience has been that women like a challenge, more so psychological because they're more thinkers than they are physical. And in giving them that challenge, making you become a hard target or not an easy catch, it, it's sort of like treating them like crap. Is that what you mean, or could you elaborate a little bit more? Just I, I, I mean it in every way except uh, physical abuse. I am, of course, uh, opposed to physical violence of any kind and believe that anybody who commits a violent act should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, but short of that, uh, treat them like crap. Be unreliable, undependable, dishonest, underhanded. Uh, I tell her you call her tomorrow. Don't call her for two weeks. Put her on ice. Uh, tell her you'll be over at 8. Don't get there till 1030. Don't explain where you've been. Tell her she be none of your business. <laughs> and you would be amazed how much they will tolerate. They will get turned on by the idea that you've got more important things to do than them. You know, you know what? I, I agree. I, I, I've, got a, I've got a few chicks, that, and I'm sort of like that, but I'm lucky with them that I can pull this off because I've known them for a while. Now, here's the thing. In meeting new chicks, people that, you know, chicks that, that, that I'm not being introduced to through friendships or some sort of, uh, you know, event where we're all doing something together, and that's how I run into them, get to know them. They've got great personality. But what about in meeting a new chick like they had a bar or some restaurant or some place uh, where there is no introduction. You know, it's just meeting her for the first time. Okay, how do we how do we do the forty dollars maximum? How, how do we you know uh, get to that and then get her into bed? <laughs> basically. Well, again, I don't think there's anything to worry about uh, keeping her to the forty dollars uh, maximum. Uh, what's the problem with that? You seem to have a problem with the forty dollars maximum. That seems to be an issue for you. No, not for me. What I'm saying is, uh, and, and again, is the uh, is the forty dollar. I'm I'm brand new, Tom, so I apologize. Uh, the forty dollar maximum is that if I'm going to spend forty dollars on on a say some dinner because I'm hungry, she happens to be hanging out with me. Is it twenty bucks her plate, twenty bucks mine, or she pays forty bucks, or, or I only spend on myself? How do you suggest or recommend that? How, how what, what's your pointer? I'm just saying. You spend as little as possible. You don't explain it. You don't apologize for it. And you don't worry about it. I mean, I, and anybody who gives you a hard time about it, just move on from there. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I don't want 29 dimensions of compatibility. I want one-dimensional underwear. I don't want to pull it off. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. to the online stream in Flint, Michigan. I'm the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Corey from Flint. I love your show. I just want to let you know. Why, thank you. Uh, and the only way I can get you out here is uh, online. I got to listen to you a day later because uh, they decided to take you off 97.1, and I don't know why. Oh, they changed the format of that station in Detroit. Yes, they did, sir. Now all it is is sports all day long, and all I like is the Red Wings, and that's all I want to hear, but it's Tigers this and Lions that, and I don't care about that crap. Yeah, I know. But anyway, uh, hey, Dad, I got a question for you. Yes. All right, I've been uh, seeing this girl for uh, maybe a month, maybe a month and a half. And um, Well, first let me tell you, I'm 21. Uh, I have no license. Uh, I have no car. Uh, I'm going to school. I'm going to graduate college here. Uh, well, if you want to call it community college, college. Uh, graduating after this semester, uh, electrician, electrical engineer. And I've been seeing this girl, and every time I get with her, it's always, oh, it's, you know, it's bleeding down there or, uh, you know, some other little excuse. 
But, uh, well, no, yeah, How many yeah, times have you seen home. this chick? What's that? How many times have you seen this chick? Uh, too many, Tom. Too many. Yeah, nah. More than three is too many. Yeah, that's what I well, tonight. Tonight was the third one. That's yeah. what I wanted to ask you about. Well, but we believe uh, we believe in the three strikes you're out rule here on the Tom Likas show and Likas 101. We absolutely do. And you know I do, but I, Tom, I really like her. I don't. I don't want no none of that M word with her or anything. Uh, yeah, but she's I, not. She's not giving you what you came for. Yeah, but Tom, I'm from Flint, and there's not much of a choice around here. Well, then why are you calling me? Why are you right. calling me for advice? I'm calling you for advice, and I guess your advice is to let her to dump that bitch, isn't it? Well, I, that's that's what I would do. Yes, you get three strikes and you're out. Yeah, no, not no, uh, you know, no special circumstances, no fourth chance. No, and I, I don't call here for special circumstances. The the rules <laughs> are the rules. Oh, uh, I've never. I'll tell you what. If you're if you're ever on another planet and there's only one girl up there, call me back. Hell no, there is a lot of girls. You are right. That's yes, true. All right. Well, then I guess I will have to dump that bitch. Um, That's right. Uh, I have one question for you though, Tom. When you well, two questions, I guess. When are you gonna tell them people there to put you on the radio over here so I can oh, you, uh, you live? Well, it's not me who has to tell them. It's you. Who do I gotta call? You gotta call the local radio station and tell them you want to hear the Tom Likas show from CBS. From CBS, all right. I can we do are that. yes, we are coming to you from CBS Radio. All right, I can do that. I got another question for you. Yes. And this is not from me. It's from a friend of mine that uh, I've turned you on to, or turned him on to, and uh, he wants to know why you've been married four times. And uh, because I was an idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what he said. Perfect. <laughs> that's that's all he needed to hear. All right. But you're, hey, he's not, up. he's not an idiot. No, you're not. In, no, there you go. That's all he needed. I to learned hear. from you experience. What, and you know what? Exactly. And that's why. All right. Three times, I'm going to dump her. All right, Tom, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much. I'm here to help, Corey. Flint, Michigan, checking in there. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Rick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Okay, so uh, I've listened to you for a long time. I think uh, you're very entertaining. I think everything you tell young young guys is, is true. But uh, I, have, uh, I think that you have a responsibility because you do have this show uh, I know you say a lot of your stuff for the entertainment factor. Well, let me let me start with this. My responsibility is generating the most advertising revenue I can on a day to day basis. I understand. That is my re one and only responsibility. And it's capitalism at its best. And That's, I, I'm with and you. I am a capitalist. God bless America. So, um, so we're on the same page there, you and I. Now, I know that uh, a lot of the young guys that come and work for me at uh, my real estate office and stuff, I try and mentor them, and uh, I, like, I like them having fun. I also own a, um, I own a nightclub out here in the Inland Empire, and uh, I know that uh, sometimes kids get the wrong idea. It's fun. It's good to have fun. I am not. Female. Wait a minute. Stop right there. Uh, one thing I don't do is fake it with the audience. Okay. My advice stands. All right. So uh, um, what about marriage, though? I mean, I know that you haven't been successful at it. Would you agree that uh, there's things that we need to work at to be successful in life? Uh, I would say that getting married four times, that's a lot of work. It is. Yeah. And I would also say that 50% uh, of the people who work at it fail. That's a good statistic. Yeah. And it's a true one. That's right. Now, do you also care about your audience becoming good, hardworking capitalists and successful businessmen and being multimillionaires themselves? I think they should certainly shoot for that. So the statistic that says, like, uh, if you re read any of uh, the books, like The Millionaire Mind, any of the books that... Uh, I, I have read The Millionaire Mind, The Millionaire Next Door, yes. Robert Kiyosaki. The statistics show that the demographic... Uh, I don't happen to agree with Robert Kiyosaki, but I have read him. Okay. Well, nevertheless, the demographic that you would have to agree with and you and I would have to accept because it's true is that most multimillionaires or successful men are married. Not, but they're not multimillionaires because they're married. They become multimillionaires because they need to become multimillionaires because they need the money to support their growing families. Right. 
So what well, I'm telling men to do is become multimillionaires without a family being your incentive. Well, you know what? Uh, I think that uh, since the demographic is a married man, maybe the you're demographic right. of what? Huh? The demographic of what is a married man? The demographic of a multimillionaire or millionaires in general. Uh, well, first of all, generally, as you'd like to use the word, and I agree that's a good word to use, generally, well off men have families and are married. Generally, they are, and generally, that is their motivation for working hard and making a lot of money. And that is generally the reason. So I respect and I actually love your advice that you give to young men because they need to listen to you. They need to follow in the footsteps and use protection and do all the steps that you take. If they're going to be messing around, they need to do it. And you actually preach to them to do it in a responsible way. Nevertheless, the end of your life may not be the end of the most, the, the population of the U.S., the way they're going to be ending up, they're not going to be ending up with millions like you will because of your radio show. Most men... That has nothing to do with it. And in fact, people who have less money need my advice more than people with money. Well, I think you're right there, too. But nevertheless, I think uh, because you have not been successful at marriage, it doesn't general... Half mean. of everybody who's been married hasn't been successful at it. Yeah, well, I still think that there's hope for marriage if you know how to There's do it. no need to be married. Not for a man. All right. Well, I still think that men can find freedom if they find the right There is woman. no freedom in marriage, and men do not need to be married. The other place where I disagree with Why you. do men need to be married? I want you to tell us. No, 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 no. I'm tell not us saying. why. I'm not saying men need to be then married. If we I'm don't need to do it, there's no point in doing it, is there? No. There, no, wait, wait. There's no point in having to. We don't have to do anything in life. That's right. We don't have to get married, and there's no benefit to men to getting married. Well, the most millionaires are successful. Uh, the the are fact married. that you are a millionaire, by the way, you're not a millionaire because you only have half a million. Because the woman you're with owns half of everything you make. I'm happy that she does because she's a great That's woman. That's not my point. My point is you're not as rich as you think you are. But I am as, I am rich in happiness. See, that's the Again, thing. Uh, you know, you, you, you keep zigzagging all over the place here. No, you know, if a man, a, a man who's married is a millionaire, a man who's not married has a half a million dollars is as rich as a married millionaire. That's your opinion. That's a fact. Because when you're married, you only have half of the total. But nevertheless, or less happy men that are married. That you, there are happy men that are married. There are men who survive a, a sixteen-story fall out of a window. Right. There, there are people who will win uh, the big spin on Saturday night. You just don't happen to know any of them, right? But the the chances aren't that in, like that vague. You know what I mean? You're, you're saying, yeah, that, actually, the chances are pretty yeah. slim. Yes, because we're just talking about the people who get divorced. We're not even counting the people who stay married and are miserable. You're talking about fifty percent of the people who are, you know, fifty percent get divorced. Fifty percent that are married. Fifty, and then the remaining fifty percent. A lot of those people. A lot of those people are miserable, and they don't get divorced because of financial reasons, because they're afraid of how much a divorce is going to cost, because of religious reasons, because of family reasons. But uh, there are many people who are married who are miserable. But you shouldn't be so down on it just because you haven't been successful. It's not just because I haven't been successful. There's no benefit to a man to get married. Time. I can be a millionaire without being married. I am a millionaire. I am not married. And you can do it, too. And so can anybody out there. You do not need to get married to be a millionaire. But I have all the freedom, and I just... No, you don't. don't all right, I'll tell you what. I've got this really hot 24-year-old chick who is just waiting to get naked with me, okay? Uh, I, I want to share her with you. You can have her tonight. Well, How much freedom have... do you have, Rick? Well, this is the thing. I have young 21, 22-year-olds dancing naked for me at the club. Too. Are you having sex with them? Why would I want to? I've had enough. Oh, stop it, please. You don't have all the freedom of the world. You don't. Um, you've had a lot of women. You don't have all the freedom. You you, you don't have all the freedom. You don't. Um, does, is one hole different than the other one? Oh, stop it. Uh, Renee, what did you want to say to Rick? 
I want to say to you that you're such a pea brain. Why are you even calling? First of all, you know the format of the show. You know that Tom pushes men to educate themselves, and they want to become entrepreneurs. You know that. Why are you even calling? Then you insulted him by saying he failed at marriage. First of all, it takes two people. Second of all, more than likely, it was probably the woman who got tired and was doing Lord knows what, gaining weight, having sex with other people, complaining about money, whatever it was. You, you can't just call and insult him like that. You should just hang up the phone now so we can continue with the rest of our lessons because God knows we need them, and you're interrupting. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, darling. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I just started listening to you yesterday, man. What is the most important thing that you've learned here so far? That I ain't got to take no girl out to dinner to get some. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like his show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. We have added videos to our MySpace page just because we wanted to see what would happen. You can go to uh, myspace.com slash Tom Like. It's going to blow me up, Tom.com. We'll link you right through and you will, you will see our MySpace page. All right, you've been begging for it. We did it. I don't even know if it was a good idea, but we did it. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's like this 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-866. We've got space if you're calling from another country. If you dial our international line, it's the country code 1. The area code is 323. And the phone number is 520-6211. That's 1-323-520-6211. And it'll get you on from anywhere on the planet. If you need help from your professor, I'm here. Jonathan, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Jonathan. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. I am a uh, fourth-year UCLA student, um, and I have a little bit of a dilemma. Next year, my roommates are going abroad um, to go study and um, I need a roommate for next year, which I've been unable to By the find. way, I've been studying abroad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I took her panties off and I studied her up close. I'm sure you did. <laughs> so my main dilemma is um, I don't have any roommates to move in with me, and my only other option besides either rooming in with my girlfriend is commuting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're how old? I'm 22. What are you doing with a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, it's 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 easier than... Uh, oh, no, no, no. You have no game. College is the greatest time of your life. You should be banging everything that moves. You will regret it the rest of your life. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. I guess I just don't have any game then. You don't have what? Any game? I know you don't. So, in, if, in my current situation, you would recommend... Get a roommate. I'm sorry? Get a real roommate. Just uh, get a random roommate? You go to one of these roommate services like Roommate Finders in L.A. Uh-huh. And you pay the $59 or whatever it is, and you get a qualified roommate. And that's even even if we're splitting everything 50-50? No. Right. No living with anyone. No, no girl, you mean? No. Nobody you're involved with. Nobody you're having sex with. No. Okay. Okay, that's simple enough. Then, I guess Under any know. circumstances. By the way, uh, why? what is this commuting thing all about? Oh, uh, I, I, I live in Oxnard, so uh, my choices were either to, because I didn't want to live with a, just a random, I was thinking of either commuting in from home, from Oxnard, which would be over an hour a day each way. Yeah. Or, uh, live, or get an apartment with my girlfriend. So, because um, I've had problems with random roommates before. You think you've had problems before. Will you move in with a girlfriend? <laughs> True. I, I haven't actually moved in with her. I've been I've been over at her place every night. She's never been at my place. But uh, um, I just, I don't know, I was considering moving in with her since I'm over at her place. Bad idea. Her. Always a bad idea. By the way, I'm, I'm not religious, and I don't belong to a cult. I don't, uh, 
This has nothing to do with any kind of dogma. I, it has okay. nothing to do with morality. It's bad for you. Okay. Sounds good. I guess... Uh, Living in Oxnard, you've got all the freedom in the world. True. That you true. you could hit up that TGI Fridays in Woodland Hills or wherever. Uh, you could hit up all those night spots in Ventura. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I see your point. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, going to school. Doing my thing. The point is, you could find out if you have game. You know, let her live at UCLA and uh, you uh, enjoy your freedom in Oxnard. That's true. I guess uh, I guess you're right. Okay. Not to okay. mention the fact that an apartment's a lot cheaper in Oxnard. That is true, but then I'd have to consider the the cost of gas for my car, price of insurance, and then my two hours I'm wasting a day. Yeah, what's the price of insurance if you move from Oxnard to Westwood? If I moved to Westwood, I wouldn't bring my car with me. Oh, how, how do you live without a car in Los Angeles? By bus. Oh, boy. You haven't been on public transportation in Los Angeles, have you? Uh, not recently, no. I don't usually. That is the that, that is the transportation of last resort. But when I'm in UCLA, anyway, they don't generally use my car unless it's to go home because everything is so close in Westwood. I don't really have to go anywhere. What do you mean everything? What you can get a falafel by walking to it? How do you go to the beach? Oh, I don't. I'm too busy studying. That's oh boy, oh boy! What? You could study at the beach for Christ's sake. That is true, but what's the fun in that? If I want to go to the beach, I want to go surfing. Ooh, boy, hang on a second, Jonathan. Alex, what did you want to say to Jonathan here? Tom, I don't know what's wrong with this kid. If he's in college and can't score, he does not deserve a penis. <laughs> uh, I think the problem is that I'm pre-med, so it takes up the majority of my time. Hey, it doesn't matter. I also graduated from UC. I was a double major. I graduated 3.9. It doesn't matter. My numbers, like, quadrupled when I was in college. It was that easy. By the way, uh, you do know what UCLA stands for, right? Uh, I've heard a bunch of acronyms. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Ugly Caucasians living with Asians. <laughs> I've heard that one before. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty true. <laughs> it be a sad day on Saturday also, buddy. <laughs> oh. Actually, I went out with a girl who, uh, I went out with a girl once who, uh, she's going to FUPA. I'm not sure what that is. That's a different kind of university. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, you got to get rid of this girl. You got to forget this dilemma you're in. You're at UCLA. You're in college. You need to have some fun, man. Listen to Tom. Okay. Well, that's why I called. I wanted his advice. So now that he gave me uh, his advice, I'm definitely going to follow it. Uh, here's a perfect example. I just graduated from grad school. I went back to my buddy for spring break to Lake Mead for three glorious days. We had houseboats, and you know what? There was about 90 girls just willing to do whatever they want. Why? Because you're in college, and you're supposed to have fun. That easy, Jonathan. That easy. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I guess I only have one choice now, one option. Seems pretty yeah, clear. Pretty clear. Nice. Uh, yeah, Alex, you, Jonathan, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Freddie on Lagos 101. Hello. Hello. Hi, Tom. Uh, I was just turning a station. I came across a radio station. And, oh, my God, I'm loving it. Uh, I'm 40, going to be 41. And the guy that was on the radio a little earlier about him being a millionaire, and you explained to him that now he's you know half of. <laughs> yes. It's so true. And you know what? Tell him to call you back. When he finally hits the divorce, because it eventually is going to happen. You're right about the statistics and stuff. And, you know, I, I help out friends that do go through divorces. And one of the biggest things I help them out for is, like, stop saying she's nice. Stop saying she won't do that. Because, you know, you're living in a garage right now, dude. And, uh, you know what, she's nice, you know, but you're living in a garage. So talk to me later, you know. But I love your show. Well, thank you for that. I called I called because I was wanting to know if it was on the Internet so I can, you know, tune it better into my house. But, you know, I, I, I'm divorced the first time uh, when I was younger. And she swore, oh, I can't stand it when men hit on me when I'm wearing a ring and they know I'm married. And that's exactly what she did. So it's like, you know, you, you don't you can never predict the future. But statistically, like you were saying, the percentage of divorce, I mean, go with it, you know? I mean, you're not going to, you know, invest your money into stocks if it says, you know, 50% you're probably going to lose it or something. You know, you're going to be cautious, and that's what you should be do. You should be cautious, and I love your advice. 
Well, thank you so much for that, Freddie. I really appreciate it. Take care. Uh, so, are you on the internet? Uh, of course. Oh, so how? how do just type our website is blow me up. No, no, no. Blowmeuptom dot com will take you everywhere you want to go. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks for the advice, and I hope a lot of these uh, men out there that are single and thinking about you know getting married, um, look at Paul McCartney. I don't think that lady would have made that much money in probably the time that she was married. Or better yet, that's right. What was her name? Peg. <laughs> nah, I, I have no idea. Eileen. Was her, was her name Eileen? Eileen. Yeah. Peg. Peg. I'm sorry. You and if she that. if if she had a sex change, her name would be Bob. Hey, I enjoy it, and I'm going to listen to you for now on, and I'm going to turn some of my friends on to you. Well, thank you, Freddie. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Bye. the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? Doing great. All right. First of all, I think a few callers ago, there's that millionaire who was happy with his wife. He's only happy because he doesn't know that his wife's probably banging his best friend or his brother or something. <laughs> uh, he'll find whenever, that out later. Then he'll be calling for advice. <laughs> whenever, you know, she's going out to coffee, you know, where she's really going. Right. All right. Well, uh, my little situation is, uh, you know, my I'm not going to lie. I have pretty good game. But uh, after, you know, I do my thing, I get these stage five clingers that keep wanting to come back. And, I mean... Um, like the MySpace, the Facebook, I mean, text messages up the butt. I mean, I I don't know what to do. Like this one girl right now, I, I cannot get rid of her. I even made a Facebook so I could kind of like stay away from, you know, stay away from her. Next thing I know it, I have a friend request from this girl. I mean, I can't, like, she has pretty good looking friends and I can't, you know, do my thing. Well, what, know? did you ever have sex with her or something? How did she get like your phone number and all this information about you? Wait. Well, I mean, I was sweet talking here and stuff like that. I did give her my phone number, but, you know, because she lives a couple blocks away from me. Well, you realize that as far as text messages are concerned, uh, who's your cell phone company? I have Verizon. I don't know about Verizon. I can tell you about Sprint. Sprint uh, actually has a way on their website. You can block text messages from up to 50 different people. Really? Yes. So you might call Verizon and see if they have a way of doing that. Okay, okay. So, I mean, what do I do when she tells her friends that she's, like, in love with me and I can't do anything? Cause... What do you care? What's that? She might be in love with you, so what? Yeah, but then her friends kind of, like, backed off because, like, oh, I can't hook up with this kid because... Well, that, you, you know, know, again, when you try to bang somebody's friends, this is the risk you have. There's plenty of other fish in the sea, and if I were you, I'd be going after those. That's right. I think I caught a piranha on this one. No, I think so. You picked a, a psycho. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. I appreciate it. And uh, keep taking out tribe style. African tribal style. Here you go. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kota lenenge, asika mama. Oya kota lenenge, asika mama. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Diego on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Tom. Hello, Diego. Hey, okay, so here's the thing. Um, my girlfriend of like three years, you know, you know, she just. How long have you been a student here, Diego? I'm not. I want to officially enroll as a 101 student. Boy, it's about time. Yeah. Yep. You're the first person I thought of, I was like, you know what? When I was like crying or whatever, I was like, I got to call Tom so he could put me in check. You know, you know I, I, I've been listening for about a year now. And, you know, I haven't been able to actually enroll as a one-on-one student. So that's what I want to do today, you know. Because you were busy being pussy whipped. Because I was being, oh, most definitely. Very true. You know, the whole thing was that, you know, we're both seniors right now. And she's going away to Manhattan. You know, I live in Long Beach. And she's all saying about how it doesn't even matter. My bad. All right. That's enough. Jesus. Oh, you're killing me, Larry. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Our web address is BlowMeUpTom.com. Visit us on MySpace. It's MySpace.com slash Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show.